right. LD WMMAC, this is your boy, the coach your live, live, live on the coaching show, the coaching show live. Okay, folks, a lot of the brothers, man, a lot of us, we are very, very split, okay? We're very, very split on the whole Marina Rodriguez situation. I mean, some of the brothers think that Marina should go ahead and take the fade. Some of the brothers think that, nah, you know, Marina need to go on and wait. Okay, a lot of us are split. A lot of us are split. Me, I'm on the side that, hey, this your opportunity. You better go ahead and take this fade now because you don't know if the opportunity is going to be there for you in September. I mean, you just don't know because, you know, right now she's not in the top three. And my whole thing is, you know, yes, yeah, short notice fights can be tough on the body. And I, I get and I understand what the homie combo breaker 99 is saying. It's tough. It's tough on your body. Um, in this particular game of MMA, when you're not in the top three or even, you know, the top two, your opportunities are very scarce. They're very, very scarce. And you literally have to take who they give you. Guys, that's that's MMA. That's WMMA in a nutshell. You have to take who they give you when you're that ranking. Like, you don't have the, the afford a bit the luxury to say, hey, you know what? I want to wait and fight this person because let's just be honest, okay? When you up and coming in the UFC and when, you, when you're looking for it, when you're hungry, you'll take whatever fight they give you. And that's the thing. Pretty much until you are in the top three, you kind of have to take the fights as they come because you don't know if you're going to get the title shot. And I think that that's what people are missing. I, I, I acknowledge, you know, that short notice fights, they're tough, man. They're real hard on your body. And it's just only so much that you can do. Um, and you can't do too many of those. I, I, I get that too. But your opportunity sits in front of you. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. If they go ahead and give McKenzie Dern another opponent in July, if they go ahead and do that and they, they don't give her the, give her the, uh, the bout and then she go and fight somebody else in September, okay, she go and fight somebody else or they don't have an opponent lined up for her in September like she won, it could be bad. Because what if in September they don't give you Bojangle check? What if they don't do that? Because that's who she want to fight. And, and guys, let's, let's just be real. If this short notice fight was against Bojangle check, she would take the fight. She would she would take it in a minute. She'd do it in a minute because stylistically, she knows that Bojangle check won't be a ground threat. So she'll take the fight. See, she's not fooling me. She's not putting a wool over my eyes. She ain't fooling me whatsoever. We know that she would take that Bojangle check fade. Like she 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 fight Bojangle check tomorrow. Thing of it is though, you don't know when your opportunity is going to get there. And let's just say, let's just say, you know, hey, they don't they don't give a Bojangle check. Let's say if they give us somebody else. Hell, let's say if they throw uh, that damn savage, that beast who down there at the bottom, but we know that she's better than what she is. Let's just say they give Talia Santos an opportunity of a lifetime. Do you think Marina Rodriguez is going to be happy about fighting Talia Santos? I, I, I can tell you she won't be. I, I know she won't be happy about that. See, you may, you may get the, you know, delay the inevitable for a while. But then when you get to September, if they give you a fight, and I'm going to tell you all, if she don't fight in September, I can tell you now the UFC like, mm, nope. <laughs> if she don't fight till September, it's a wrap. See, here it is now. She turned this fight down May. So, okay. Realistically, the way the UFC operates sometimes when they get upset with people, and it depends. Now, it depends on the relationship you have with the UFC it really does depend, but they reserve the right. But here it is: May, June, July, August, September, October. Hey, man, if we don't if we don't see her fight until November, you know what happened. If Marina Rodriguez don't fight until November, you know what happened. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't suspect that they'll keep her on the shelf till November. I don't think they'll do that. Um, they'll give us somebody else. But my whole argument, my point is: look, you might get somebody worse. Then McKenzie during Obo Jangle check, and that's the chance that she's gonna have to take. Because guess what? She's training as if like, okay, well, I'm not ready for McKenzie during now. Well, how the hell you how the hell you know if you're gonna get McKenzie during in September? I mean, do you, I don't know. Do you think McKenzie Dern is gonna wait? She's probably not gonna wait, and she's probably gonna take the next fight because McKenzie sees it as, hey, you know what? I'm getting close to the title. I'm, let me go ahead and take me another fight to go ahead and get this title shot down. Like McKenzie Dern's mindset is totally different. Like, she want to go ahead and take, because if Mackenzie Dern beats somebody else, 
Okay, more than likely, she's going to be pushed within the top five. She'll probably go to number four. She'll probably go to number four. Okay? And, you know, Dana White, they've been wanting to push Mackenzie Dern for so long, man. They've been wanting to push that girl for so long. They've been wanting to do whatever they can to get her up there. And, see, they're going to give Mackenzie Dern that opportunity. Marina Rodriguez got an opportunity to end the hype of Mackenzie Dern. But she don't want to do it because Mackenzie is a legitimate <laughs> ground threat. And she can't take the risk. She's not afraid. Like I, I'm not. I'm not saying like Marina is ducking. See, I never. Y'all never heard me say she ducking Mackenzie Dern. No, she's not ducking her. Okay, she's not afraid to fight Mackenzie Dern. The thing of it is, she just don't want to lose to Mackenzie Dern. Because if she loses to Mackenzie Dern, the title shot opportunities are gone. Guys, I you know, look September roll around. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if this fight didn't go down in September. I wouldn't be shocked if it didn't go down. I mean, you know why? This girl don't want to fight. She don't want to fight Mackenzie Dern at this level. Like, she don't want to do it so close to the title. She'd rather not. I mean, let, let them announce. I guarantee you, the UFC said, okay, all right, well, Mackenzie got a fight in July, so let's put you in there with Taya Santos. I, I guarantee you, her and her team going to be like, F. They're going to be cussing behind the scenes. They're going to be like, are you serious? They gave us. No. Because these are ground threats. These are ground threats. She don't do well. Guys, look at her fight against people that can grapple. I'm not talking about people that's well. I'm talking about people that are serious grapplers. She struggled with these people. She struggled with them, man. And they can't have... She, she, she's too one-dimensional. Then people can say, you're a hater. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, she's too one-dimensional to be the champion. It's not going to happen. She is too one-dimensional, and every single one of her opponents, they know this. They know this, man. Like... She's working on her jujitsu, and that's good, but it's not enough. Because sometimes, man, when you come in as a striker, and I always tell people, man, you can learn if you if you're a grappler, if you're a wrestler, judo, or jujitsu practitioner, you can pick up some forms of striking. You might not be the best at it, but you can pick it up to a point where it's going to help you in getting the fight to your comfort zone. You see these grap these, these, these strikers, these kickboxers, they come into MMA. They don't have the wrestling background. So you know what happens to them a lot of time? They get mauled on the ground. And so they don't have their skill set. So see, learning how to wrestle, learning jujitsu, I mean, even, you know, judo, in it, sambo. Guys, that take time. You can't just, you know, do some simple holes and some trips and, and some ostagaris here and, 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 you know, some, some double legs. You can't just do that and think that you're going to be, you know, formidable against other grapplers. It's just not going to happen. You can't do that for a few months or a few years. You have to do it. I wrestled 10 years. I wrestled 10 years and still there were things in wrestling that I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I took my wrestling to a jiu-jitsu mat and got schooled. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. She don't want to fight a true, legit, a legit ground threat. She don't want to do it. I promise you, even in September, if the fight don't go down, and if she fights somebody, I, I mean, folks, we know the deal. If one or two things happen, if she don't fight in September and we don't see her back to around November, we know what's up. If she don't fight, if she don't fight Mackenzie, and say if Mackenzie Dern don't get a fight, and they don't fight in July, okay, and if they don't rebook this fight for September like she won, then we know the deal. Okay, we know who ducking who. And there are a couple of people in the division, they're avoiding Mackenzie Dern. They're avoiding her. They, they don't want to fight her. They don't want to fight Mackenzie Dern, okay, because they know that Mackenzie Dern is going to end those threats. And it's not Marina Rodriguez. She's not the only person in that division that's, that, that, that's going to avoid Mackenzie Dern. And this is avoidance. I don't care short notice, long term, she's avoiding Mackenzie Dern. For whatever her reasons, she's avoiding this fight, okay? Uh, well, I need a longer camp. Okay. You're still avoiding her. Then go look at the rest of the roster. Go look at how many people you look at almost anybody above, almost anybody above Mackenzie Dern, and those people are avoiding her as well. Guys, I'm just telling y'all, there's a reason why the UFC not announcing certain fights. Because, you know, they would have loved to put Mackenzie Dern in there against probably the number two or the number three ranked opponent. They would have loved to do that. But if the person don't want to fight, you can't make them fight. Guys, Marina Rodriguez is not the only person. The only, the only difference is is that they publicized Marina Rodriguez, which, okay, if you're going to publicize Marina Rodriguez not taking a the fight, then you need to publicize everybody who don't take this fight. But that's okay. I'm, I'm going to put them on blast. I'm putting them on blast tonight when I go on tonight. 
I'm going to put all these people on blast. And I got a list of people who have avoided Mackenzie Dern. And Marina Rodriguez wasn't even the first choice. You guys don't know that either. Marina Rodriguez wasn't the first choice. Okay, believe it. it, it <laughs> there were other people who avoided Mackenzie Dern before, before Marina Rodriguez said, nope, I can't do it now. But that's just what it is, man. Mackenzie Dern is a threat. She's a threat. She's a threat to that belt. She's a threat. The girl can make 115 now with no problems. She focused. Mackenzie Dern's a threat. Whether how you slice it and dice it, this woman, Mackenzie Dern, is a threat to this belt. And Marina Rodriguez and her team and her coaches, they know. They know exactly what the deal is. They know what's up. They understand what's up. They understand what's going on. They know the deal. They know the routine. They get it. We all get it, okay? We all get what it get. And guess what? They're going to make it do what it do if it happens.